Welcome to ANU Open Day 2022, and welcome to the session Applying to Live and Life on Campus at ANU. The session will talk about the process to apply to live on campus, the key timelines and key dates, changing your accommodation preference, what to expect and how to prepare, and lastly, where you can go to find out more information. Applying to live on campus. If you're thinking about coming to the ANU in 2023, you're possibly also thinking about living on campus. By now, you would have done your research, you would have chatted to family friends, and you possibly would have made a couple of trips to Canberra to see a little bit more about what is on offer at ANU. If you're looking at making ANU your academic and residential home away from home, there are two pathways that you can consider. The first is as a direct early applicant. This pathway will cover your academic admission, scholarship and accommodation. Alternatively, you apply via a UAC academic pathway. This will require you to submit a separate accommodation application on the accommodation portal. Once you've decided on the pathway, you make your application. There are no costs nor obligations to making an accommodation through either of the pathways. My only word of advice, follow all the timelines and key dates carefully. So what are the important dates? Well, as a direct applicant, you would have submitted your application between March and May. Offers will be released from the 5th of September onwards and you have until the 5th of October to accept your early offer. If you're looking to change your accommodation preference, the accommodation services team will make contact with you in early October, and we will get back to you by the 5th of December with the outcome of your request to change your accommodation preference. Final offers and formal accommodation contracts will be released from the 23rd of December onwards. Please remember that the university will close between Christmas and New Year. And when we reopen in January, we will continue with the release of offers. If you applied for an academic entry through the UAC pathway, you will then submit a separate accommodation application on the accommodation portal. The portal opened up on the 1st of September and you have until the 20th of December to submit your application. Accommodation offers will be released from the 16th of January onwards on an ongoing basis. Accommodation contracts will start early February. Changing your accommodation preference. Your accommodation offer will include the residence that you've been allocated to. Allocation is based on the available beds. It also takes into account the re residential demographic that we are aiming to achieve. Remember that we guarantee first year, first semester students a place to live on campus, but we don't guarantee preferences. We will try wherever possible to meet your first preference. But if a first preference cannot be met, a like-for-like like alternative can be offered. Regardless of where you live, you will have a great residential experience. But if you're still looking to move, you can participate in the inter-residential transfer process that opens up mid-year. The accommodation services team can be contacted for more information about accommodation preferences and changing. So what to expect? The ANU campus is a vibrant one, it's full of energy and is comprises of a community of like-minded individuals. Some 6,000 students choose to call ANU campus their home. We have a mixture of undergraduate students and postgraduate students, all pursuing different academic pathways. Our residences are a mix of new builds and older style buildings. Each residence will include amenities for study and social connections. Some have music rooms, others have rooftop gardens. Some have balconies, some overlook Sullivan's Creek 
and Black Mountain. Deciding where to live is important. This is your new home away from home. So in choosing, think about what is important to you. Think about your budget. Think about the proximity to campus, to city, to classes. Think about whether a catered or self-catered residence is important. You'll be supported by a dedicated team who is there to provide you with pastoral care and academic support and peer-to-peer -peer mentoring. Senior residents form part of the residential leadership. They are fellow students who are there to assist you as you settle in and adjust to campus life. Make this the best experience ever. It's your chance to make new friends. It's your home away from home. So what else do you need to know? Your offer letter will confirm the residence to which you've been allocated. It will also include the steps to accept your offer, the acceptance fees to pay, the contract start and end dates. Once you've accepted your accommodation offer, your residential team will send you a welcome pack. This will provide you with information on your arrival date and hints and tips on what to bring and what not to bring. It will also share with you information about how to apply for parking, as well as the mandatory training that you will need to undertake prior to your arrival. On check-in, you'll be introduced to the leadership team, the senior residents and other key staff. You'll be allocated to your room, provided with a room arrival checklist and a direct debit form. And then you unpack, settle in and enjoy the residential experience. Where can you go to find more information? Well, you can call the accommodation services team or email them. Please remember to have a look at the 360 student-led videos and the 3D images on the accommodation website. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more information, and we will endeavor to keep these pages updated along the way. With that, I thank you. We're looking forward to welcome you in 2023.